Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's time. It's time. It's time for the Rexon rant. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh shit. All right, let's talk about it. But there's fire in my eyes. There's a light behind them. Behind the camp. Like, literally, there's light in the video. And there's light in my eyes. What a day. I woke up. And I checked the tweets. My Discord. And I see that Gregson is suspended. And I didn't know why. So I was browsing the internet. I was browsing to figure out what happened. And I found him in my Discord pretty quickly. But apparently he liked an edgy joke. I, I Oh my god. He liked a edgy joke. And that is what got him suspended. Now it said just for Michigan. I don't know if this is like indefinitely. I mean I need to like recheck Twitter again. But either way, what a day. <laughs> What an absolute day. I guess we'll really break it down because my Discord is blowing up talking about it. It's a very, I guess it's a very nuanced take or just very gray area. I don't know, but I'll give my two cents on it. I'm making a cut here just so I can really, um, really accentuate the point of what image he liked. But it was George Floyd's face on the crab from uh, Little Mermaid from the live action movie. And it, and then the caption just says, under Dunny. It's an edgy joke. I will give them that. Is it like the funniest thing in the world? Probably not. Um, I can look at that and be like, damn, that's fucked up. But not in a, in a like, like I'm like offended in my, like ripping my clothes off. Like I'm that offended. It's just like, ooh, jeez. That, that's about the extent. I got a reaction out of me. I moved on from my day. When I, like that was, that was basically it. It wasn't anything like... I guess I can kind of see if you're, you know, like a, like a PR person and you have sponsors backing Gregson, you look at that and be like, oh God, that's, we don't want to associate with that. It's, I can, I can see it. I'm not an immoral monster. I can understand from a PR perspective why you would not want to associate with someone with that. Cause that is, I get it. And that's kind of the issue. That's the, really the biggest thing with it. We have to kind of remember too, that these drivers are not everyday people like us they have they're a bit higher up they have sponsors that depend on them and they're a public figure and even though casual me if you know was talking to friends and making dumb edgy jokes sure that's one thing but yeah when you're a public figure like that you can't be doing shit like that so that like i said i totally get why you know he's suspended i i, I fully understand that um, I, I just, it is, it is pretty damn gross when you have those lens, that context behind it, it's understandable. So I a hundred percent get it and, and yeah, it's just, I just don't know why he would use his main account to like something. Like if you're going to do something like that, just make a fake account and, and do shit. I feel like that's just like the most common sense thing. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much older or younger Gregson is than me, but like I figured that shit out like 10 years ago. <laughs> like that should not be something in your late 20s you're figuring that out. Like that should have been like discovered like a really long time ago. I don't know. Don't know, but either way, just, just a shitty thing. And I'm just kind of amazed. Uh, he's not only suspended, but he's actually gone entirely, apparently. Uh, whether LMC was going to decide to do this on their own or not, they were going to do it regardless because NASCAR came in and said, hey, we're, <laughs> we're going to suspend him. So, yeah, no matter what LMC did, NASCAR, yeah. So, yeah, he was, he was boned either way, even if uh, Legacy was not going to suspend him or do anything. So, uh, yeah, um, that kind of raises the door for more questions. Who's going to take that 42? There's already rumblings of him maybe losing that ride at the end of the year, even though I thought, you know, prior to all this happening, I thought maybe that was a bit extreme. He's had a horrible season, but I don't know if that's enough to really 
get him to lose his ride because how much of that is on the team? How much is that on the car? Eric Jones hasn't really done much better. He's done a little bit better, but not, you know, leaps and bounds better. Eh, maybe so. I mean, he's definitely gotten a couple of top tens and, and all that. But I, I would not go as far as, at least up till today. Not, I wouldn't have gotten rid of him, but... Yeah, so that leaves that car open now. So who's going to get it? I have no clue. Um, that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, that's kind of my general thoughts on the situation. Pretty wild. Um, kind of just adds to the laundry list of things that Gregson's done over the years that's just been deplorable and stupid on different levels. Um, is this like the most egregious thing? No, because there's other things. There's way worse things he's done than like a edgy image so i don't know but that's just kind of my general thoughts on it so i think that's that about covers it so yeah see ya